The army's on the attack, and barbed wire's not going to stop them. It's only a practice, but there are real explosions to give battle conditions, and it's real wire. Watch how they deal with the wire. These men don't get hurt much. They lie prone on the wire while others rush through the gap. It's a trick our men learnt in the Middle East. The men don't wear special clothing. It's just the result of training. Perfect timing and confidence. It'll take more than barbed wire to stop these men. Recruits for the Navy. These husky young New Zealanders are climbing the road that leads to the Navy's training station, a dry land establishment known as His Majesty's New Zealand ship, Tamaki. On the parade ground for the first time, they find themselves in a strange new world. The first thing they learn about is their kit, which contains clothing and equipment for every climate. On issue, every article is stamped with its owner's name. Here's the new recruit, kitted up, as they say in the Navy. There's no losing clothes at the laundry. Every recruit learns to do his own washing. Physical fitness is a first essential. The punch that goes into this training is just the beginning of the punch which the Navy calls for when it comes to fighting. Brains as well as brawn are needed. So it's back to school for navigation, mathematics, electricity, and a dozen other subjects. Training for a life at sea wouldn't be complete without a knowledge of knots and splices. The sailor today learns to use a rifle because he may have to fight on land as well as at sea. The traditional system of flag signals still has its uses in the Navy and future signal men soon learn the meaning and combinations of dozens of flags. On parade, there's smartness and precision, the keynote of all their training. The ship's mascot keeps an eye on this. Now for some action to show their paces, launching whalers with a smartness that will later mean the Navy's here and ready. Loading a gun and firing it with a speed and accuracy that keeps alive the Navy's motto of hit first, hit hard and hit again. The sea's in the blood of these New Zealand lads. Soon they'll be full-blown sailors, not long after first learning to climb into a hammock, which isn't as easy as it looks.